Well, welcome back to 42nd Street Pete's Grindhouse, and I think I'm going to wrap up the Black History Month edition with this episode. Um, some guys seem to progress a lot and um, go out and do other things outside of the country. And like I said, Woody Strode was one of the first guys to do this. Uh, Fred the Hammer Williamson knew that basically that he, if he could get in overseas, he would be a big hit. And what happened was he got cast in this film, The Inglorious Bastards, uh, directed by Enzo Castellari. And this would be his first co collaboration with Enzo. And this was basically a World War II flick, a la sometimes the Dirty Dozen. But the problem with the film was that Italy was having a lot of trouble with this terrorist group, the Red Brigade. So basically guns and gunpowder weren't allowed by anybody, which had this whole film improvised with catapults, bows and arrows, and things like that. Um, personally, didn't think it was a great film. Um, it starred Bo Swenson and Ian Bannon, too. Uh, I don't think, uh, from what I understand, there was a little rift between Bo and Fred, being that we're both athletes. But then, to be honest with you, I've never heard a good thing about Bo Swenson at all. So um, that was the start of the whole thing. And um, Fred would work for Enzo in these two post-apocalyptic uh, films, The Bronx Warriors, 1982, and Warriors of the Wasteland. I believe that was 82 also. One of them might have been 83, I'm not sure. The Glorious Bastards was 1978. Um, basically, these were the post-apocalyptic things, you know, New York and stuff like that. Um, in one of them, Fred had to face uh, George Eastman, who basically was a lot taller than Fred, so during the fight scene, Fred had to stand on a skid or two to measure up to George's height. Um, it led to other things, but another guy that got into that whole thing was a guy named uh, Tony King, who was a native New Yorker, who sort of pitbulled his way on sets when he saw them filming in New York, and wound up in Shaft and uh, hell up in Harlem, and uh, had a big role in a report to the commissioner, and he was the pimp that was beaten to death in Sharky's Machine, but him too, he, he too went over to Italy and then worked for Antonio Margheretti for two films. One of them is... Uh, Cannibal Apocalypse, which was many names, Invasion of the Flesh Hunters, Cannibals in the Streets, all kinds of other good shit. And uh, he co-starred with um, John Saxon and uh, Giovanni Radici, a.k.a. John Morgan, in that film. It was also in Margaretti's The Last Hunter, a war film with David Warbeck, uh, both in 1980. Um, if you pick up Cannibal Apocalypse, there's an interview with Tony on it saying how he got into the business and how he would basically show up, uh, you know, when they were shooting in New York and saying, you don't have enough African Americans on this set, maybe you ought to want to hire me or something like that. But interview was interesting. Um, you know, like I said, you know, guys went over there and made marks overseas, and like I said, you know, sort of like, you know, an American name on a marquee back then was big box office for import films. And like I said, Fred knew his value over there and tried, you know, like I said, Inglorious Bastards got him over there and he did quite a few films over there and also made it where his films would be accepted over there also. So, hope everybody enjoyed my little Black History Month presentation here. I don't know what I'm going to do next year. I don't think I can top it, but until then, we'll see what happens. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Above all, stay safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.